Good evening, everyone. It is Monday, June 12th. It is 7 p.m. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Finally, town council members are present. Town of Fort McKellar, you need lapelis, Terry, Jimmy, just to skip, Sean O'Rourke, and Donald Wales. Those t- members of town council that are absent this evening, Kevin Reed, Jason Mauer, DDR. Item three, the public hearing. Uh, we have a public hearing this evening. I'm going to open the public hearing at 7 p.m. on Monday, June 12th. This public hearing is regarding uh, 2023 Neighborhood Act Assistance Program, pursuant Connecticut General Statute Section 12-632. Town Council shall conduct a public hearing to receive input on proposals submitted for consideration for the 2023 Neighborhood Assistance Act program. Uh, Mr. First Select. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think you're all very familiar with the Neighborhood Assistance Act program. Um, we have only one application that was submitted uh, in, a, um, in the prescribed time uh, to my office. It is from uh, the Community and Social Services Department of the Town of Monroe. Uh, for the Project Warmth program. I found that the uh, application is in order and I'll ask that we support this uh, application. Thank you, Mr. First Selectman. Is there any other member of the public that would like to participate during this public hearing uh, regarding uh, the 2023 Neighborhood Act Assistance Program? Once again, uh, is, if there's anyone online that would like to participate during this public hearing, re- please remember to unmute yourself. Um, if it's via phone, it's star six, I believe, Mr. Prislock. I well, yes, that's correct. Either star six or star seven. Uh, please remember to unmute yourself to say your name for the record. Hearing none, <laughs> hearing none. Is there anyone who would like to participate during the public hearing? Hearing none, seeing none, I'm going to close the public hearing for this evening at 7.02 p.m. There are no objections. I'm going to pass the consent calendar as presented this evening. I have said communication items A through S be incorporated into the minutes of our meeting. Public participation. Is there any member of the public that would like to participate this evening? Is there any member of the public that is here online via uh, their telephone, tablet, or computer that would like to participate this evening? Please remember to unmute yourself. If you're on your phone, it's please use star six to unmute yourself. One more time, if there's any member of the public that would like to participate this evening, uh, please come forward, please state your name. Hearing none, seeing none, I'm closing public participation for this evening. Uh, We have no appointments this evening. Item eight, action items. Town Council Committee on Finance, Education, Health, Public Safety Matters. Madam Vice Chair. Action. Action. Okay. Any update? No, sorry. Uh, We have not had a meeting since our last meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Town Council Committee on Planning, Zoning, Public Works, and Parking and Recreation Matters. Uh, Council Member Rooney. Uh, we have not met, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Item C, Town Council Committee on Legislative and Administrative Matters. We did meet this evening. Um, and all matters placed before us, uh, which includes resolutions 23 067 through Resolution 23-075, all received consensus to come to town council this evening. All right, item D, strategic planning committee. Uh, We did not have a meeting since our last town council meeting. Item E, EMS building committee, uh, council member Rooney. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Not a lot to report tonight. Uh, We've had some landscaping installed, some of the finished landscaping that needed to be done. Um, so we will be having probably one more meeting to put this uh, building into the hands fully of uh, the EMS, but uh, there's really nothing else. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, item F, Open Space Preservation Acquisition Committee, Councilmember work. Mr. Chairman, we have not met since our last meeting. Thank you. 
And item G, the first selectman's update, Mr. First Selectman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. One update for tonight. The uh, General Assembly passed the uh, state budget uh, bill, which um, I know my update indicates that he, uh, the governor would sign it. I, I did uh, catch up to an email uh, later this afternoon that he has signed the uh, bill into law already. Um, as you know, our budget process is uh, always uh, concluded while the state budget is being finalized, which makes us rely on projections that are available at the time. I'm happy to report that in the final state budget, uh, Monroe uh, will receive just over $106,000 more than currently budgeted for revenue in fiscal year 24. The vast majority of that is driven by the fact that the education cost sharing grant, uh, which we had budgeted to um, resume its decrease under the state's um, uh, phased in of a new ACS formula. Um, municipalities such as Monroe, which had the uh, graduated lowering of that, were all held harmless for another two years. So there was no reduction in the amount we received last year. Also, grants such as LOSIP and TAR were also um, funded at the same levels as last fiscal year. So um, very good news all around. Thank you. Um, unfinished business, uh, it is my understanding that we do not have an update on the St. Jude uh, Property and Community Center project update this evening, but we will have an executive session later on to discuss another matter later in our agenda. Uh, item 10, new business. I have a motion to accept the following individual donations of $1,500 or greater, one $2,000 from M&T Bank, to the Bicentennial Committee, uh, and, and two, $4,753 from William Benedict Incorporated uh, for the food pantry. Is it so moved. Motion by Vice Chair Lapelis, is there a second? Second. Uh, second by Donald Dan Wales. Uh, I will note for record that there there is a typo on our agenda. Um, the $2,000 Bicentennial Committee uh, was from MT Bank. Um, Mr. First Selectman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, yes, and I uh, apologize for that um, error. The, the, the funds came from an individual who's acting on behalf of MT Bank in making that uh, contribution. That was from MT Bank and their sponsorship of the Mile Down the Pike race that occurred um, prior to the Memorial Day Parade. Um, we certainly thank uh, M&T for their sponsorship of that. And um, uh, Benedict's uh, Home and Garden has uh, historically uh, taken sales from uh, a certain individual who creates uh, products and, and requests that all the proceeds go to the food pantry. Benedict's uh, sells them uh, for him, and there's a accumulation of this uh, amount, $4,753, that has been donated to the food pantry, and we are certainly very appreciative of that substantial donation. Thank you. Any other discussion? Okay, none. All those in favor of accepting those donations, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. Okay, no nays. This passes six to zero. Item B, resolution 23 068. Adam Vice Chair. I move that the Town Council adopt resolution 23 068. Resolved that Kenneth M. Kellogg, first selectman of the Town of Monroe, is authorized to execute and deliver on behalf of the Town of Monroe the Performing Artists Engagement Agreement and any associated documents by and between Garrett L. Stack for the WMNR performance at the Munger Barn at Dudley Farm in Guilford. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. Is there a second? Second. Second by Donald Wells, Mr. First Selectman. Thank you. So WMNR is organizing an outreach event uh, in Guilford where they have been broadcasting over one of their um, uh, stations, WGRS, uh, for uh, several years. Uh, Garrett Stack is a broadcaster for uh, WMNR who also performs this radio show. We've done a similar agreement with him in the past for the same program that he's done at another venue. Uh, this is a new performance agreement for him to do uh, a performance uh, during this event in Guilford. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of adopting resolution 23-068, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. Our nays as fast as six to zero. Item C, resolution 23-069. 
Madam Vice Chair. I move the Town Council adopt Resolution 23-069. Resolved. The Kenneth M. Kellogg, first selectman of the Town of Monroe, is authorized to execute and deliver on behalf of the Town of Monroe the hourly lease agreement and any associated documents by and between the Dudley Foundation Incorporated for use of the Dudley Farm Munger Barn by WMNR. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. Is there a second? Second. Second by Jessica Kuduska. Mr. Selectman. Thank you. So this goes hand in hand with the prior resolution. This is the uh, agreement to uh, utilize the uh, venue uh, in Guilford uh, for this event. It has been reviewed by the town attorney. You'll note there were some uh, questions in regards to coverage from uh, Kerma in this regard, which has been confirmed. Uh, they already have the certificate of insurance uh, available and ready uh, for for uh, for the Dudley Foundation. So uh, we'd ask that we move this forward. So this would complete their uh, planning for their event. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor of adopting Resolution Twenty Three Zero Six Nine, please say aye. 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 All those against, please say nay. Your new name is passes six two zero. Item D, resolution twenty three dash zero seven zero. Madam Vice Chair, I move the Town Council adopt resolution twenty three dash zero seven zero. Resolved that the twenty twenty three Neighborhood Assistant Act program application from the Community and Social Services Department for the Project One program is hereby approved. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. Is there a second? Second. second. Oh, Member Roney. Uh, Mr. Perselectman. So this is the application that was the subject of the public hearing earlier this evening, which is <laughs> precedent prior to the council acting uh, on this resolution. Um, I, I kind of already gave um, a brief overview um, on the program earlier. Uh, this again would provide up to um, an incentive for those the corporate tax liability to contribute up to $24,000 in the aggregate. Uh, that would uh, be eligible for this program. Certainly doesn't mean we'll get those funds, but it certainly um, helps, um, again, incentivize uh, those, those donations, as well as provide some benefit to those corporations that um, historically do pro, uh, donate to program, uh, Project Warmth, excuse me, um, and let them avail themselves of this program. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. First Selectman. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of adopting resolution 23, Dash zero seven zero. Please say aye. Aye. All those against, please say nay. Hearing no nays, this passes six to zero. I have a resolution twenty three dash zero seven one. Madam Vice Chair, I move the Town Council adopt resolution twenty three dash zero seven one. Resolved that Kenneth M. Kellogg, first elected of the Town of Monroe, is authorized to execute and deliver on behalf of the Town of Monroe the Connecticut Library Consortium Strategic Planning Consulting Agreement and any associated documents by and between the Connecticut Library Consortium for the Strategic Planning Consultant. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. Is there a second? Second. second. Councilman Rooney, Mr. Perselect. Thank you. Our library director uh, is looking to update the strategic plan for the library. Uh, we are we are due for that. Uh, she's identified an opportunity through this consortium uh, whereby uh, we can get the services of a widely recognized consultant uh, at a cost of only five thousand uh, dollars, which compares to um, the strategic plan that was done in 2016 uh, was at a cost of almost thirty thousand dollars. So this would be of great benefit. Uh, this is a competitive award. Um, we we need to get the um, we need to get in the running uh, currently, and if we are selected, uh, the contract would have to be executed prior to our next meeting. So I'm asking council uh, authorize uh, the form of their standard agreement uh, at this time, such that if we are awarded, we can execute the contract expeditiously and not lose out on this potential opportunity. Thank you. Uh, any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of adopting resolution 23-071, please say aye. 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 All those against, please say nay. Hearing none, this passes six to zero. Item F, resolution 23-072. Madam Vice Chair. I move the town council adopt, <clears throat> excuse me, adopt resolution 23-072. Resolved 
that contingent upon approval from the Board of Finance to transfer $145,000 from the Parks and Rec Recreation Program Fund to the Capital Reserve Fund. Kenneth M. Kellogg, first second of the Town of Monroe, is authorized to execute and deliver on behalf of the Town of Monroe the construction contract and any associated documents by and between Hinding Tennis LLC for the Wolf Park Basketball Courts Project. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. Is there a second? Second. Second by Donald Lindner. Mr. Persilla. Thank you. So as everyone's aware, uh, in August of last year, we got a $150,000 grant from the state bond commission for reconstruction of the basketball courts at Wolf Park, which uh, I think everyone knows are um, very overdue for uh, being addressed. It's, it's a high priority project for uh, the Parks and Rec Department. Uh, back in November of last year, this council adopted a resolution that uh, approved the personal services agreement uh, with the state uh, deep uh, to uh, to accept that grant and the, the terms of that grant contract. Uh, we issued an RFP uh, and three firms submitted bids for this project. Uh, I did directed a bid review team to review those bids and provide recommendations. It was reported to me that um, all the bid packages were reviewed. The two firms that submitted the lowest bids were re reviewed in more detail and analyzed. The firm that submitted the lowest bid uh, had a condition that the project would not be commenced until the fall and could not be fully completed until the spring of next year. Uh, again, these courts are heavily utilized. They are in need of immediate reconstruction. Um, with that, they reviewed the second lowest bid, which was from Hindig Tennis. Um, it was higher than the low bid, but uh, by a relatively smaller amount, a small amount of just over $13,000. Indig further confirmed that they would be able to start construction this month and be completed this fall. Um, we also have favorable experience from Hindig in their work on the tennis courts reconstruction uh, previously. So based upon the totality of these circumstances, the team recommended uh, awarding this to Hindig as the lowest qualified bidder that can complete the project in an acceptable time frame. Um, their bid was uh, $322,000. Again, we have 150 from the state grant. Uh, the Parks and Rec Department has $27,000 available in current year uh, Parks and Rec operating budget, which leaves a balance of $145,000 uh, that can be taken from the Parks and Rec Program Fund. Again, uh, I've uh, in the resolution that's before you, um, that, um, that would be contingent upon Board of Finance approval of a, a transfer of funds to the Capital Reserve, uh, and I will address that at their meeting on Thursday. Uh, everything has been reviewed by the town attorney, uh, which includes the contract, which incorporates the RFP itself, the addenda to the RFP, and the uh, Hindig's response to that RFP. Um, and with that, I'd ask the council to support this so we can uh, get to work in fixing the courts. Any other discussion? And on all those in favor of adopting resolution 23-072, please say aye. 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 All those against, please say nay. <clears throat> Hearing none, this passes 620. Item G, resolution 23-073. Madam Vice Chair. I move the town council adopt resolution 23-073. So, Kenneth M. Kellogg, first selectman of the town of Monroe, is authorized to execute and deliver on behalf of the town of Monroe the concessionaire agreement and any associated documents I am between Twins BBQCO LLC for the concession at Wolf Park. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. Is there a second? Second. Who's going to Mr. First Light? Thank you. So, um, uh, our Director of Parks and Rec um, has identified this vendor able to provide uh, concession services at Wolf Park for the remainder of the season. Uh, I asked, uh, in working with the town attorney, uh, and Missy to uh, simply modify the prior agreement that the town attorney had prepared for our previous uh, concessionaire. Uh, it was updated for this vendor for this limited, uh, somewhat truncated season. Um, it also includes an opportunity to uh, grant um, a one-year extension as, as well, uh, provided the town is uh, in, uh, in concert with whatever would be proposed by the vendor for uh, 2024 season. Um, Ask that you uh, adopt this so uh, we can add um, concessionaire for the rest of the season at Wolf Park. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, 
All those in favor of adopting resolution 3-073, please say aye. Aye. All those against, please say nay. Hearing no nays, pass the state to zero. Item H, resolution 23-07. That the town council adopt resolution 23-074. Resolved that Amy Lena Lahani, Director of Health for the Town of Monroe, and Kenneth M. Kellogg, first selectman of the Town of Monroe, are authorized to execute and deliver on behalf of the Town of Monroe the memorandum of understanding and any associated documents buying between the Town of Trumbull for the Health Department Mutual Aid for Surge Capacity, Public Health Preparedness, and Director of Health Coverage. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, by Donald and Wales. Mr. First Select. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we have a long standing partnership with the Town of Trumbull to provide mutual aid services for our health departments, uh, both in times of emergency uh, as well as for routine coverage for the Director of Health, as um, for, for things like unplanned absences or planned absences. Um, as you're probably all familiar, uh, the director, the certain actions uh, that uh, must be taken either from uh, by statute or, regula or regulation um, must be from written orders of an individual that's authorized by the state health department uh, to be uh, a director of health or an acting director of health. Uh, we have had prior agreements uh, with Trumbull that addressed mutual aid in certain circumstances. The state health department would like an updated comprehensive agreement which has been uh, prepared and negotiated uh, uh, from uh, the town attorney uh, with the town of Trumbull. Uh, and it is before you this evening. I'd ask that you authorize this so that we can uh, put this in place. And uh, we are working on a similar agreement with another community as well, just so that we have more than one in place. Uh, but um, this would go a long way to, uh, if nothing else, um, assure DPH that we have a uh, a more current uh, agreement in force. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, adopting resolution 23 074, please say aye. 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 All those in say nay. Any no nays, this passes 620. Item I. Resolution 23 075. Madam Vice Chair. The Council adopt resolution 23 075. Resolved. That Kenneth M. Kellogg, first selectman of the town of Monroe, is authorized to execute and deliver on behalf of the town of Monroe the appointment of Change Healthcare Operations LLC as providers, attorney, in fact, document for the limited insurance related administration administrative functions for emergency medical services, billing, and any payment and payment processing services. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. Is there a second? Second. By Jessica Tuska, Mr. First Selectman. Thank you. Uh, as you know, the town uses Quick Med Claims as our third party, third party billing uh, vendor for the emergency medical services department. Uh, they've advised that they've migrated their, their payment management and processing that will utilize a new clearinghouse where payer information is stored and maintained. Um, to continue to have the most efficient and expeditious manner, they're requesting that we uh, execute this uh, very limited power of attorney uh, for the stated uh, purposes uh, to uh, address those insurance related administrative functions. And again, it's been reviewed by the town attorney. You have his opinion. Thank you. Any other discussion? And all those in favor of adopting resolution 23 075, please say aye. 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 All those against, please say nay. This passes six to zero. I make a motion to enter executive session uh, to discuss the Pepper Street construction project to discuss strategy and negotiations with respect to pending claims. Um, is there a second? Second. Good. Uh, second by Mr. Lapella. Chairman. Yes. I ask that uh, you amend that to invite myself and Town Attorney Leah. My apologies. I, I withdraw my initial motion. I move that we enter executive session to discuss Pepper Street construction progress, uh, construction project to discuss strategy and negotiations with respect to pending claims inviting. First of all, from the town attorney. Second. 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 Okay. Vice Chair mm -hmm. uh, Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those against, please say nay. Hearing none, nay, pass the 6 to 0. It is 7 24 p.m. Before we begin, uh, those of you uh, online, if you are calling in by phone, I'll ask that you hang up and then dial back in. You'll be placed in a waiting room. Those of you 
of connector of the internet. I will place you in a waiting room uh, and then you'll be rejoined once we come out of executive session. We are back on. There is nobody in the waiting room uh, and the recording is back up. We're up. Thank you. Uh, we are out of executive session is 752 PM. Uh, no votes were taken uh, during our executive session. Uh, that's it for item J. Um, public participation. Is there any member of the public that would like to participate this evening on item J? New business or item A of unfinished business? Hearing none, I'm going to close the second public participation this evening and I'm going to adjourn this meeting at 7.53 p.m. I will say that this is our only meeting in June. Our June 26th meeting will be canceled, so I will see everyone, I believe, July 10th.